Greetings and welcome to another alternate Thursday presentation. Right, so some of you are wondering why are we looking at this DOS box screen? Is he going to unveil another one of these golden oldie uh, gems that he's so meticulously planned out? Well, actually, I don't plan these out. I just sort of find the discs in my collection and think, ah, I had this. This game, however, is slightly different in that I used to have it. Uh, but there was some mix-up in the uh, when I moved way back when, and I can't find the CD-ROM for it anymore, which is a pity. So I have to do with this uh, this abandonware version, which is pretty much true to uh, the game that I used to have. But uh, it's kind of a pity that I don't have the CD-ROM anymore. But anyway, the reason why I'm going for the game that I'm going now, and I will show it in a moment, is because I noticed a, a little bit of a move towards well, f more 4X games recently being released, like, like um, Galactic Civilizations and all that. And I never really got into 4X uh, games. Don't know why exactly. Maybe I just can't hack it. I mean, for crying out loud, I play Civilization at Chieftain level because I don't feel like going up to deity is actually worth the effort. But that's not the point. I like building spaceships. What can I tell you? And It's really hard to build a spaceship if you have to continually get attacked by Gandhi. Damn you, Gandhi! But anyway, that's not this game. This is more or less a 4X game, but not quite in the way that we currently have them. But enough hyping what I'm going to show you. Let's just show you. Now, I'll uh, have to apologize if I don't get the sound levels working quite as I intend to. Because uh, levels are going up and down a little bit, depending on what music is playing. Also, um, this game has a very long intro. My apologies for that, but it is kind of necessary to show you just how brilliant this game is. The intro is not really optimized for my PC in that I, my PC is actually way too fast and some of it will not look quite right. So without further ado, let's show you what I'm actually going to show you.
May the love that went this second stand free. The earth enjoys a period of prosperity and peace. Majority of weapons are abolished. Humanitarian and ecological problems are gradually eliminated. Any nation showing aggressive tendencies is dealt with swiftly by UN military forces. Eventually, the Earth is a conflict-free zone. In this enlightened atmosphere of unity, scientific progress accelerates. Over 50 years of dedicated research comes to fruition when the UN Nuclear Research Laboratories successfully combine elements of Einstein's unified field theory with antimatter physics, creating a new form of spacecraft propulsion. A new form of power can literally warp the fabric of space and therefore bring points within it closer together. This makes travel between solar systems in a relatively short time period a distinct reality. Explorer 2 is refitted in space dock and made ready to travel back to the new planets.
Last order of the old regime was the emergency departure clearance for Explorer 2. Explorer 2 leaves the solar system behind and heads for the new planet. The new launch window causes the ship to pass through an uncharted asteroid field on its way. damage to the warp field generators. 2621. Explorer 2 arrives at the new solar system. The crew escape using safety pods. Most do not make it to the new Earth. Shortly, a new Earth colony is formed. The struggle for survival begins. Present day. New Earth colony is now well established and close to old Earth technology at time of uprising. A new leader has emerged with the full backing of the populace. His mission to return to space and reconquer the Earth. To reunite. And that is it. Impressive, isn't it? You can clearly see where they draw their inspiration from. Almost to the point of plagiarism. But that's neither here nor there. Now, the developer of this game, Amnesty Design, uh, is a Hungar or was a Hungarian company. They renamed themselves to Digital Reality. Which is still a Hungarian company, as far as I know. As far as I know. Anyway. This game really made me fall in love with their design, even though originally I did not know that they uh, made this, because I didn't play, uh, make the link. Uh, but certain design decisions in their games I have seen uh, come, come through in their later games, particularly in Imperium Galactica 1, which I also have, and I have the CDs of, so I can play that whenever I want to. But for now we're gonna focus on Reunion. And I'm just staying in this menu for a moment because it's the most stable I have. Is this game is 
it's a work of art. This was uh, particularly, as far as I know from the wiki, this uh, was the first game that they launched. And it shows. It's a work of art. It's not their best work of art, though. There's lots of bugs. And the game itself is quite difficult to play. <laughs> I would not recommend to play this game. Straight out. I think it's fantastic for what it is, but I would never recommend anyone play this because this is hard. It's obtuse. It's got very unintuitive controls, and un if you don't have the manual, you will be stuck to uh, because you don't know what to do. I don't currently have the manual anymore, because I got this game as part of a bundle, and well, like that, uh, it disappeared. I, I think the manual is part of the was on the disc. So, uh, but for what it is, like I said. This made Digital Di Amnesty Design or Digital Reality my most favorite Hungarian games developer. Which admittedly isn't saying much because they're also the only uh, Hungarian game developer that I know of. But they're still in business as, as far as I know. They made the Imperium Galactica series, as I, al as I already said. I believe they're also responsible for uh, Cinemore. Something like that game I haven't played but heard is quite good. But anyway, that's uh, enough of me gabbing on about this, because I could sing their praises all day, but it wouldn't make any difference. Let's uh, go into the new game. Now, you get to choose the hero. It doesn't really matter, it's mostly your own flavor, what, uh, which character you want to see on screen. I'm going to go with the female. The, the, the biggest difference is mostly in when you lose, and you'll lose a lot. But if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna look at the beautiful woman. Because she has the sexiest armor when you lose, anyway. So this is the main screen where you are, with some fantastic music backing you up. And like I said, this game is full of bugs, so I'm hoping nothing breaks while I'm playing this particular piece, and I'm gonna extend my playtime a little bit to show you everything. Anyway, so we can buy stuff, if we have it researched. We can research things if we have a researcher, which we currently do not. We can go to our ships, both in space and on land. The galactic map, which is basically just the new solar system uh, with new Earth. Uh, the major gas giant, I believe it is a gas giant, Zeus. And a small planet called Klaatu. It has also has moons called Parada and Nikto. I don't get the reference, but I'm sure some of you will. Surface. We can look at the main planet. Admittedly, it looks small, but you'll get a much lo you'll, you'll get a lot of mileage out of this space. Back. The messages, Back basically, if there's anything Back. happened, we'll see it there. The commanders, Commander. which Back. we can hire, but we'll do that later. The Back. local. We can talk to the bartender, an informer, or a spy hunter. And the main computer, which just shows us our planets, useful planets, or alien planets. And of course, disk operations. Where we can also switch the track out. Cool, eh? <laughs> now, provided this all works, We'll start with hiring some commanders so I can actually show you some gameplay. Commander. All right, so I usually go for middle guy for the middle guys because eventually you'll want the more expensive ones, but you can't afford them. So for now, I'll go with Jack Benson, uh, who's the pilot, which will allow us to launch ships. We need builders. For builders, I usually go with the more expensive guy first because, frankly, he builds fast enough and. The others are just not really useful. I don't really uh, fully understand why there's even the lowest level, unless you want to play extra hard mode. I, I, my recommendation: never go for the lowest ones, unless you want to pain your, uh, put yourself through pain. There's also fighters, 
which I'm not gonna hire now because I don't have the developer. money. And developers or researchers in this case, which was in which case I'm going with Thomas Dempsey. Welcome. Back. Alright, so let's put these guys to work. Be First good. off, we'll start for search. Start the mine droids. Now you can talk to these guys, Be like uh, ask them how they are, they feel fine, what do they want, new inventions, their plans. I want, he wants to develop the satellites and just need an equipment. Nope. And I can tell him to go to university. In this case, for him, I can give him, uh, uh, let him go for courses in mass physics, physics and electronics, electronics and maths, or artificial intelligence. Bad. Ignore the spelling mistakes. I'm not entirely sure that's part of the original game, but the fact that they're still in here says something. Uh, Let's also research the satellites. And you can basically do that with all guys. Not let's go to the surface for a moment. Now, we want to maximize the amount of resources we get at the start. So, let's build a mine and let's build a derrick. Now, as we build stuff, well, I expect accelerate time a bit. I notice that the building efficiency is going down. This is fine as far as I know. I have not really noticed any real difference. Until you get below 50% at which point uh, building starts getting shut down. Alright, they found a new planet. That is fine. I'll just name it Amnesty 2. Alright, so I've researched everything. Now let's get some satellites. Now satellites cost money and resources. I'll buy 10. And let's just build them. Alright, so now you've got a few satellites. You don't see them getting built, but I, I know satellites build very fast. So some things you just really have to learn through play. Which is kind of not a good game design. <laughs> now, there is no fast way to travel to planets. You really have to go to the map, know where the planets are, and then click on them. In this case, we're going to explore the moon Apollo. Which is orbiting the new Earth. And let's uh, send a satellite to Klaatu. Surface. Which will take a while because Klaatu is quite far away in comparison. Surface. Alright, so we have ferry building. We can build like, uh, well, basically okay, housing. Uh, oh. My satellites were destroyed. You had better find another way to launch them. The developers have started research on the satellite deployment fitting vehicle. Yeah, that basically always happens. So now we need to wait until that is invented. Anyway, it's like housing, a park, a church, radar, medicine factory, and a hospital. Uh, this is a leisure center, a uh, builder plant, the mines I already showed you. All right. These are nuclear power plants. Our satellite has found some ores on the planet. It would be beneficial to extract and utilize these ores. Right, let's first research the satellite carrier. Surface. And so we need to expand, explore, exploit, and finally exterminate. And that's a little bit beyond the scope of what I'm going to show you here today. Because mostly I'm just wondering, should I make this a Let's Play series? I could try. I am a little apprehensive because of the bugs in this. I've already had uh, a game breaking Bad. bug at some bug at some point, Production. where Bad. I couldn't build any more satellites because the game Bad. foolishly believed that they okay. were a destroyer Bad. class vessel, which f for which you will need a space station, which I could not build at that time. I don't know why that happened. I just know it happened. Message. The minor station is invented. Research. Well, let's research Start it then. Design. And research is happening quite fast. You can see the uh, stats on Thomas Dempsey. If he uh, doesn't have the numbers that we need for to develop something, you can't finish the development. <laughs> in which case, you need to send him to school. Now that in itself isn't a problem really, but Thomas Dempsey has a uh, upper limit on how much he can uh, learn skills. So eventually you will need to switch over to the better version of the guys. Uh, it's like... And you, you, you always want to because... For one thing, Mac looks awesome. Especially if you saw him at the start. Developer. Yeah, Clatu says nothing is impossible. Yeah, except Attention. buying you. 
Alright, so Production. now we research the miner station. But we can't transfer it to a planet because we yeah. have no real ma way of doing that. Okay. Alright, so Back. I can't afford to buy them yet. So let's create a new unit. I'll make this explorers. Okay. okay. Alright, one satellite, some satellite carrier, and let's load a satellite in it. And let's just show you the one of the bigger downfalls of this game. Control panel. This is how you control ships. Control. It looks cool. Zoom out. Don't get me wrong. It looks Anna. very cool. Move ship. But this is so cumbersome because you have to do this with every fleet. There is no automation of any kind. Alright, we found a new planet. We call it Amnesty One. That's Amnesty. that's multiple ways of detecting planets. Right, so let's launch the satellites. And you see this screen every time. There's no way to turn off animations if you get bored of them. I can't land with uh, the satellite carriers. You can only land them back at your home planet, so let's do that. It's really quite the zen to do the, this. Message. Right. Let's land. Message. Transfership is fully invented. And so we have to research everything on this list. Eventually. In the meantime, we need to build up our planet, which we can see some information from. We have 32,000 32, loyal people. Our taxes are normal. Our level is enhanced, which basically has to do with the tech level of the planet. The type is an Earth-like colony, and the diameter is so many kilometers. The temperatures... This is a little bit odd to me. Whereas the diameter is in the metric uh, value, kilometers, but the temperature is in Kelvin. I, d I would have expected Celsius, because you know, calculating from Kelvin is <laughs> really, really difficult in some ways, because I, I always forget to properly add to it, but basically to get the actual number you need to add 273, I think, which make the temperature... What would that mean, the temperature? Don't do math on screen. If I've learned anything from Quill 18, it's never do math on screen. Anyway, we can manipulate how many taxes we take. If the people, if you tax uh, too much, the people will become unhappy and will rebel against you. Since this is our home planet, we don't really want to do that. Of course, we can make people happier by building stuff that they want, like, for instance... Message, message. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stadiums, uh, parks, more farms, perhaps, a vehicle plant, which is missing an A for some reason. Uh, and this goes on and on and on. Because this is just the initial star systems, there's nine systems in total, including the uh, old Earth system. And I have finished this game, completed it once. After which I pretty much had enough of this. Because for the longest yeah. time I got stuck on the first major obstacle you get into in this game, which is the Morgul invasion of this particular system. Which is balls hard. And unfair. Completely unfair. Because there is no bloody way those guys can build more ships than we can. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm starting to rant. I really like this game. But I'm not entirely sure it's suitable for a let's play. And there's Message. so much more to show. Like that. But anyway, I'll leave that up to my loyal vol followers. Well, those Message. subscribers that will be interested enough to watch this. Should I do this? Should I uh, expand on this? Look fully into a let's play of this game? Or just leave it at this? Leave it for you to think about what could be. Will we ever reunite with Earth? Perhaps we will. See you all next time.